but we'll worry about that when the time comes. Here's the Canadian skipper. Good challenge by O'Connell. Managed to hold it, but Ferris went down and killed it stone dead. Shane Jennings takes it on. Quicker ball for Ireland. O'Gara. Another nasty teaser dropping down just outside the 22. Pritchard went up well for it. Fairhurst was back too. So nothing wrong with the Canadians. The uh, former All Black Kieran Crowley, their coach. Here goes Redden. Jerry Flannery. Well, they'd love it here if he could score. Redden. And looking for try number five before the interval. O'Gara. Jennings. O'Connell in quickly. He's up there as well. Plenty of beef up front by Ireland. Buckley and Ferris. Here O'Callaghan. Great pressure now by the Irish. Oh, cleverly done back to Tommy Bow, and he sides through Tommy Bow. What a clever fake by Ireland. Little dummy to go up, and then they went blind, and Tommy Bow ran in without a Canadian hand remotely close to him. And Bow has got his sixth international try. He yeah, certainly read things very well there. Ireland progressing from a number of short balls and pick and drives to create that blind side. And then, like Tommy Bow, up against the tight five forward, there's only going to be one winner. Tommy Bow just uh, ghosting over for that try. Well, Tommy Bow, he's enjoying this season with both the Ospreys and now with Ireland. And Ronan O'Gara to take the score to pretty close to uh, 40. First time these two sides met was in the 1987 Rugby World Cup in Dunedin in New Zealand. Ireland emerged 46-19 winners. And they may just have it within them to uh, surprise kick of what's been a very productive first half for Ireland. Guess what, O'Gara?